What's up everybody and welcome to a tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server. What's going on everybody? This is the Kickback Spot and welcome to a tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server suggested by the Gamecraft. Shout out to this person for the video suggestion. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys on how to make a server step by step. Uh, it's for the updated version of Minecraft, so this should work. Um, it's the new way to make a Minecraft server. Things have changed from my previous tutorial. So I hope you guys um, find this tutorial easy, and let's get started. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is open up your web browser, and then you guys are going to go ahead and go to minecraft.net slash download. There will be a link in the description for this. Once you're here, go ahead and click on minecraft underscore server 1.7.10.exe or whatever sh version is shown and let it download. Minimize your browser and you guys are going to right click anywhere on the desktop and hover over new and click on folder. From here you're going to name the folder whatever you guys want. Uh, I'm going to name mine minecraft server and hit enter. Now go ahead and click on start and click computer. Click on downloads, click on minecraft underscore server 1.7.10 and just drag it out into the folder. Just like that. Go ahead and double click inside the folder. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to right click the minecraft underscore server and click on rename. And delete the digits. Make sure you delete the 1.7.10 or whatever version you guys have. So make sure it only says minecraft underscore server. Just like that. From here, you guys are going to go ahead and uh, double click it. And click run. You're gonna notice it's gonna open up for one second and close, and you guys are gonna get these files. Now most people get confused here. They're gonna, they're like, why is it not opening? So if you guys, uh, if you try to run it again, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna show you why. It's because of this new file that they added, the EULA. This file, you're gonna go ahead and open it. The reason it's not opening is because you have to accept the terms and agreement. So on an EULA equals false, change false to true. Click file and click save and now it should open. This is a new f thing that Muyang added. Um, it's basically um, like a new terms. So you guys have nothing to worry about. Just make sure you save it and close it. And now if you guys double click it, it's going to start working. And there you guys have it. Now just wait about 10 seconds and then you guys are going to go ahead and type in the command stop. And hit enter. And give it another 10-15 seconds and then it should automatically close by itself. Now you guys are going to see these files. Look for server.properties. Um, you're not going to be able to open it. So go ahead and right click it and click on open with. Once you've got that done, click on more options and look for the program notepad. And it should open. From here, you guys are going to look for this thing called Online mode equals true and change true to false. You must change it to false. Then you guys are going to look for your server IP and this is where you're going to put your IPv4 address. To find your IPv4 address, click start and click run. Type in run, click run. And here you guys are going to type in CMD. If you cannot access the run and if you're on Windows 8, hit the Windows and R key and it should pop up. And just type in cmd and click ok. From here, you're going to type in the command ipconfig and hit enter. Now as you guys can see, here it is, the ipv4 address. This is what you're looking for. Mine is 192.168.1.2. Yours will be different. So go ahead and uh, copy yours onto there. Alright. And make sure you put yours in. Do not put mine, put your IPv4 address. And there you guys have it. Now look for the server port, uh, which is by default 25565. Make sure you keep note of that. Go ahead and copy it. And now you guys are just going to go ahead and click on file, save. Make sure you save this. And there you go. Now for the next step, you guys are going to right click inside the folder. And you guys are going to make a new text document. So go ahead and do that. Right click, hover over new, and click on text document. And hit enter. Go ahead and double click it. 
And what you guys are going to do is look in the description and there's going to be this line of code I have. Go ahead and copy this onto there. And then you guys are going to go ahead and click on file and save as. Type in run.bat and click on all files. A save type as all files. And there you guys go. Make sure it's a run.bat file. So when you go ahead and run it, it should work. Now the reason why you made this is to give your server more memory so it doesn't lag and more people can join. Uh, if the code doesn't work, I have different codes you guys can try. So go ahead and try all the codes in the description. And make sure you put in the quotations. Okay, so now that we got that done, open your web browser. And you guys are going to go on Google and look up uTorrent. Click on uTorrent and click free download. I'm going to tell you guys why you need this. Uh, it's to port forward. So go ahead and click free download and let it download. Now most people, they like um, to port forward through their router. Some people don't know how to do that. That's why um, port forwarding on uTorrent is so much easier. So go ahead and uh, just go through the setup. And click next, next. Make sure you uncheck yes, I like to check out this download. Click next and decline any other offers you guys get. And click finish. Alright, now go ahead and click on no thanks. Now, click on options and you guys are going to click on preferences. Click on connection and type in the port from earlier, 25565. Make sure you type that in just like that. Click apply and click OK. And you're good to go. You're now port forwarded. This is so much easier than logging into your router. And make sure you never close uTorrent. Always minimize it. If you're on your server, you must leave it open. Go ahead and run Minecraft. And now we're good to go, everybody. Now I'm going to show you on how to uh, connect to it. So click play. All right. You're going to click on multiplayer and click on add server. And you guys are going to type in your IPv4 address from earlier on a command prompt. Again, mine is 192.168.1.2. Um, you can also type in your IP address. Um, and there you guys go. If that doesn't work, what you guys can also do is um, type in localhost. This doesn't work for me, but it works for some people. So there are three ways to connect. Your IPv4 address, your IP address, and um, localhost. And as you can see, the server worked. That's about it. Uh, if you want your friends to join, make sure they type in your IP with the colon and the port number. And that's about it. Now I'm going to show you guys on how to op yourself. Okay, uh, you guys are going to op yourself, basically meaning give yourself um, admin to the server so you can do whatever you want. Open up your uh, command prompt where the server is running and type in op and your username. Mine is op croat code. I'm now opt, which means I can do whatever I want. I'm bas it's basically being like a master of your server. So if I type in slash game mode 1, I'm now in creative mode. If I hit E, you guys can see you have unlimited items. You can also opt your friends. Um, be careful who you opt because they could destroy your server, do a lot of things. So only opt people you know or yourself. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Drop a like below. Click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.